Welcome to the show and thanks for staying with us as well. Let's talk about uh, something that I used to think was a bit easy. You need a bit of consistency uh, to be able to carry through. Um, putting words together is not enough, uh, but making sense out of it, adding styles, substance and a bit of swag is important. Let's talk about poems. And a poet is here seated with me. Uh, largely also doing um, it with a guitar. Poitivist is your name. What's Poitivist? So, a po a poet yeah. that is an activist. Yes, please, exactly. What are you activizing me? <laughs> because dollar is up. Would you want to speak about dollar today? Uh, you if, don't have any If need be, we'll, we'll go with If it. need be, senior, <laughs> we are talking about dollar, you are here without anything about dollar. <laughs> anyway, how many years have you been doing poems? Uh, for a very long time since um, senior high school, but okay. took it more um, active uh, when I completed senior I high see. school. Mm -hmm. So when you say active, what it means is that you are doing that like uh, more professional, like in a more professional way. Okay. Or, uh, you are charging I, for it. Yes, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and in dollars. In dollars. Yeah. <laughs> see your face. <laughs> Bank of Ghana will chase you, and you see. Anyways. So <laughs> what we're going to be doing largely is to speak about poems, do some of your poems as well, and then uh, uh, we have some quick conversations on that. Are you ready? Very ready. Right. So you want to, first of all, set the pace by starting off with a poem. Have we met? I can't remember. OK, I see. OK, <laughs> I, I see. <laughs> so um, let's, 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 let's do something. Uh, uh, first of all. So what we are doing is from an EP we released this year called Untitled Country. Okay. Letter to my untitled citizen. Letter to whom it may concern. letter to whom it may concern. I am speaking to you as an untitled citizen that when the village appeared, you were here. You were witness in your eyes. Like a cloud in the skies, you carried hopes on your tongue. Said thirst as heavy as desert shall not kill anyone. And suddenly, we believed. But your presence disappeared when water swallowed a new baby at the naming ceremony. And when you heard an organized night has postponed our morning until another day, serious laughter rooted your face, and your country left midnight across the forecourt to plead the only river on our way home into trenches. You stood miles away from the soul of the square with no respect for ancestors' toils. You watched travel to torture liberty. Untitled citizen. Since you have gone away from the truth, hear what remains to say of this unholy place. Your mother has become a fluent cougar. She does her inner way between the face of Oju Aleba, and your father is the witness whose silence is going observed. They say he is a fool. And it is becoming true. When you went away, the voice of today stood barefooted at the gate with a knock for mercy, but injustice lost itself openly. An oppression dressed like democracy to dine on their old wounds. The cry that was lucky yesterday, whose name you went away from, is still hanging on the neck of your people, shuddering their sad eyes. Many tears of mourning have returned to the unborn. A sharp chaos named the obituaries. The humans are still on their pitiful tears and the cry is, how long? How long will you forget your people? How long will you do something with the voice they gave you? A title citizen. If you finish constantly betraying yourself in the city, go turn your neck to your village. Go turn your neck. So this one, they can't really say, like, we, we should go back to the village and fix it. The problem is so this poem, right? So this poem mm. speaks about two things. Okay. I wrote this poem in a time when Nigeria 
um, the people were demonstrating and seeking to end SARS. Oh, okay. And so at the same time, yes. And at the same time, when Idra, um, the so the military right. uh, went in to, to 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 brutalize the people. Mm. So this poem is a letter I wrote to an untitled citizen, mm. and the citizen is unknown. That if if he or she is in the city when she uh, he or she is done betraying him or herself mm. he or she should turn back and look at the village what is happening mm. and it's basically to say the people that we have given power to if they are done if they finish deceiving themselves if they f if they finish pretending that they don't know what is going on they should turn back and look at the village what is happening mm. in there so that is untitled uh, it's a poem from Untitled Citizen, NEP. So that only sh goes to show that um, you cannot take, um, if you like, the meanings of some of these words that you say literally. Yeah. Beyond this is, uh, they are figurative. And yeah, so they, exactly. They represent a lot of stuff. And that's what poetry does. Now, okay. let's talk about young people then. So as much as possible, I believe that I was hoodwinked into thinking a lot more awakening is happening in terms of those who are going into venturing into things like this and even doing professionally. But the fact is that it's because we have grown in numbers mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. social media. Mm -hmm. A lot of people might only be doing this for hobby, mm -hmm. but to say professionally is scary because Charlie, yeah. who would want to? patronize and even pay because patronizing of course they can call you yeah. but can't pay what would you want to say has been the journey in terms of uh, taking this professionally um, with with me I would say people are patronizing and yes uh, we release works like how musicians also drop their works mm. like on Spotify Apple music mm. and all that mm. and and ev everyone and the audience um, they speak to mm -hmm. and so I, w I would say people like myself, we have what um, people want and we put it out there for mm. our friends and for our people to listen. And I think poetry to me is a, is a way of um, collecting our grievances mm. and putting them in a figurative way, as you mm. said, uh, to speak uh, truth to power. Mm. And so people love it when people are voicing um, poems out. And then also we, we have a lot way we can transition the act mm -hmm. to make it more professional. Mm -hmm. I don't just write poetry and I'll go and sleep. Mm -hmm. no, I try to put it in other, other works. An example, if you have an artwork, I can write a poem to speak to it. And okay. so you can work with different people mm -hmm. and transition the art mm -hmm. um, to, to a more professional way. Mm -hmm. So that's... And it, it sells because I have traveled because of poetry mm. and I have performed at places because of poetry, mm. even to the extent of going to the parliament house. Mm. So it's, yeah, it's working. It's, it's working. working. Yeah. You think there's hope? And the, yeah, young people, the young people should also get interested in isn't it? Yes, yeah, so, uh, I think, and we, our everyday life is poetry. Mm how we eat, how we drink, there's poetry in everything. Mm. And so even if you are not doing it in a more professional way, mm. you are still expressing the art, which is, mm. which is fine. I see. Is this something you want to do for, for life? Yeah, I, as, as long as I have uh, life, if longevity is mm. good to me, I would love to do it. Mm. How many have you written so far? How many? How many poems? Yeah. <laughs> You're countable. No. <laughs> and you, can still, you, can still you know, it, it's a muse, mm. and you you wake up, you get the muse, mm. you put it down. Mm. Sometimes you don't get back to it, and so there there are a lot of poems I have written. Mm. Yeah, but what I try to do is I I try to collect them in an anthology, mm. and I just release it based on a specific content, mm. and so that is how. So I can, if you want to go out and see my works, I have few there but there are a lot i have i have written and it takes time for them to evolve and meet the need 
of society. So. I see. Yes, I see. So we'll, we'll see how it works. Uh, are, are you ready for the second one? Yeah. Can we do a second one? What are we going to be doing? <laughs> so the second one uh, is a letter I wrote and it's titled Village Crimes slash To Whom It May Concern. Village Crimes. Let me dare tell you the truth of the village. When the sun flirted with us, night came in shadows. We were sent away by a wind that lost way here. The taste of our iniquities hovered on our tables. Our very important people seriously broke the village pot that we were all eating from. And we couldn't say a word. Last morning, our father was told the truth of his tongue. They say he went through the back of his wife, our mother, so we stayed nursing our souls. Could you believe that it was when the nakedness of our eyes left enough at the village square that the chief Woodley slept with the wife of the priest when he, the priest, went to pray for the chief and the village? The daughter of the chief also fortunately slept in love with the priest. They made enough love to interrupt the silence of daylight. And the servant of the priest, he also grabbed the twins of the queen mother in the shrine. Come and see cemented kisses pounding. Could you believe the concerned neighbor who saw all quoted sacrilege? He bought truth to pay the debt of this fraudulent village. But the people, my people, your people, our people, they came for him at the neck. And the priest requested for his head. He said he has burdened the land with a curse. What did he do? He questioned the skin color of the priest. He informed the people of the chief looking the sons of the Gabri near Usu. Today, our coward elders still go pouring vodka over here. I don't blame them. I don't blame anyone. They say it is to redeem us from the curse. Could you believe? Upon all these, God and his silence dances abroad romantically on ancestral soil to whom it may concern. I see, to whom it may concern. Who, who is that one for? Uh, what is it about? I will say. <laughs> so, as of now, we still don't know who this letter is for. Oh, I but see. What's the addressing? Uh, yeah, so it, it is basically speaking about our collective. Uh, crimes that, collective crimes yes okay um as a citizen you have what you have to do or you have your roles to contribute to the development of the village mm. but we often neglect that and as um, a president or as a vice president whosoever is also elected into office they also have what they have to do but we tend to um ignore that and this particular poem, w the time I wrote it, uh, there's this line that struck, uh, like it, it brought about the whole thing. That was uh, an incident happened with um, a chairman of a political party who was seen at a friend's house. It was a dawn, mm -hmm. and the friend uh, he came on social media and all that. And so I, I used priest to represent something mm -hmm. that um, the daughter of the chief has lived in love with the priest. Mm -hmm. and. When the priest also went to pray for all of us, the chief came in to have an affair with the priest's mm -hmm. wife. And so that is how we collectively uh, commit crimes in, 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 in the society. Mm -hmm. And the people that speak about the issues are often taken up um, by uh, uh, BNI and, and all that just because they, they spoke up. You, you see, so that is mm -hmm. this, this point for you. Uh, so we are all collectively part of the conundrum. Now, yes. he does not have a microphone, so who is mm. he? So you talk about Oh, uh, So this is Abotre. Abotre is also a poet mm. and uh, uh, a composer. Okay. He, he writes music and all okay. that. So he's called Abotre and he has been with me for a very long time. We You've been hustling. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. It's synonymous to we have been. We have been. Oh. We, yeah, we, we met we met about uh, six years uh, seven years ago and uh, yeah we keep doing this right. and uh, 
he's fantastic. Like right. he plays and to he he plays to speak the poem. Yeah, and so it's uh, it's, right. it's amazing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hi, Abbot. Right? Hello. You can't talk, so don't talk. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so the, the, the thing is, we're going to continue to do this, address mm -hmm. uh, issues with our poems. Uh, is there anything you want to see in terms of how it has to evolve as a, as a craft? Um, you've, you said you've gone mm -hmm. out there to perform. I, is it by way of how much policymakers are put to it or... You think is this a system that accepts some of these things and mm -hmm. will even want to patronize it by even going further to pay for and come to these events? But yeah, it's, it's, it, speaking about systems, mm -hmm. I think when the measures are in place, better. But then also, you, people who put up these systems end up uh, polarizing and corrupting the same system mm -hmm. or the same measures. Mm -hmm. So I think it's more. Um, of an individual work that you you really have to put yourself there you really have to know how to 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 market yourself and give your craft uh that respect Be, because if we if we are to mention the things the systems that government or institutions have put in place we will find an iota of corruption mm -hmm. familiarity and and all that mm -hmm. and so i think we and this art is very powerful because when you look at the history of the art, it has given birth to change. It has given birth to a um, new status quo. And so if, if, you are, if we invite um, <laughs> systems into it, they end up um, corrupting it. Mm -hmm. But there are few systems out there that are doing brilliant for, for us. Peja was held last week. That's the literary festival, the biggest literary festival in Accra, and the other libraries that are contributing to it, Ian and Say and the rest. And so, when it's an individual thing, I think it works. But then also, we can't take away the role government can play in it. Mm. And uh, just that like you won't expect government to put you in a podium. Our system is very different. You won't expect government to put a poet that speaks of the actual ills of, ills of society at independence square for mm. presidential inauguration but america is doing it mm. my i think it's our system and we will evolve well, when we get the understanding of how powerful it is and how it can change society then the systems can come in okay all right so that's uh part of this yes and uh, of course a portrait on the guitar okay. as well and uh, so that has been a conversation around poems. I wish you all the best. Where Thank can you. we, your, the point of on social Point of is on all social media platforms. Um, and Spotify, um, I have um, an EP. I was privileged to release an EP, as I said. So, okay. Yeah. Uh, Abotre as well. Abotre, yeah, SoundCloud okay. and Audio Man. A-B-O-R or A-B-O? A-B-O-T-R-E-H. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So thank you very much, guys, for coming through. 